Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Do not forget your enemies when they come to make peace, all right? And don't forget your enemies when they come to ask for uh, help or anything like that. You can forgive them, but not forget them. So, here is an article come from, coming from Reuters from August 27, 2022. Slovakia's neighbors to patrol its skies, freeing MiG jets for Ukraine. So, we have Slovakia, who signed a deal on Saturday, under which fellow NATO states, the Czech Republic and Poland, will police its skies as Bratislava withdraws its Soviet-made MiG-29 from service, potentially freeing up the old jets to send to Ukraine. Why do you need to have someone police your sky, Slovakia? Because as far as I know, Slovakia has borders with Czech Republic, Hungary, I think, uh, and Austria. I don't, think, I don't think it has with Germany, no, I think it, that, that's what it has. So why would you need to patrol, have, and Poland, it seems like Poland, they were there too. Where should Poland patrol its skies and Czech Republic against who? Who could be the, the Hungarians? Because obviously it's just Austria and uh, uh, Austria and Hungary, right? I mean, I'm, I'm going right now on the maps and just, just trying to see where, uh, what? where Czech Republic is. And I have Czech Republic Slovakia, right? Slovakia is here. Slovakia has border with Poland, Czech Republic, Austria, uh, Ukraine, a little bit of Ukraine over there, Pokutia area, and Budapest. That's Hungary. So it's going to patrol, and if Czech Czech Republic is going to patrol, Czech Republic is in north northwest. Poland is north. Ukraine is east, Hungary is uh, south, and south southwest is Österreich, Austria. So then, who are they protecting against? The Ukrainians, the Russians coming from Belarus, from Hungarians, from Austrians. All right, doesn't really matter, but it's just a question. Why would you? You're surrounded by friends, by NATO members, except one country, Ukraine, which has a little short, bo small border over there. So, Slovakia has said it is ready to send the 11 MiG fighters to Ukraine. Well, I thought that Ukraine is winning over there and they don't have no losses. No, they, don't, they don't have any losses. None of their airplanes were shot down. They're just, you know, some uh, little problems here and there. The, the ghost of Kiev, which I don't know what he did in Kiev because I don't know if there Rus was any Russians over there in the Kiev or around it, but... Anyway, let them be, right? Whose military has long relied on Soviet-era equipment and which has appeared to more supplies <laughs> from NATO. So they changed. Basically, the same with the energy sector. The Russians are out, we are in. We pressured you to kick the Russians out. It's just a uh, shuffling of uh, economic uh, interests under a certain kind of, uh, you know, umbrellas. Slovakia has said it is ready to send the 11 MiG fighters to Ukraine, whose military has long relied on Soviet-era equipment and which has appealed for more supplies from NATO nations to boost its ability to battle invading Russian forces. Slovak Defense Minister Yaroslav told the reporters at an air show on Saturday that Bratislava remained ready to send the planes to neighboring Ukraine, but no deal had yet been reached. And I'm quoting, there is a political will and it makes sense to help those who need help. Nad said, did you send anything in East Ukraine when the Russian population was killed by the uh, Ukrainian military sent by Kiev, Ned? Didn't, they, didn't, did, didn't those guys need help? Wasn't they in need, Ned, at that time? <laughs> that tells me you are, actually don't have values or ideals, or you're not in a part of, okay, who needs help and in need, we're going to help. You need only when you want. So if it's a preferential 
a value, there's not a value, ned, weasel. Ned equals weasel, weasel. So there is a political will and it makes sense to help those who need help. Okay, there you have. And the, the possibility is on the table. And once there is an agreement, we will inform you, end quote. Western nations and their allies have been boosting military aid to Ukraine with cash, equipment and training in the more than six month old conflict with Russia. And they will give, they gave their Soviet era or Russian equipment, military equipment to Ukraine if they can, and they will pay more for the American equipment. Newer and better and perfect. Good. Slovakia, with, with a population of 5.4 million, has already donated an S-300 air defense system that was already blown up, remember, by Odessa, <laughs> as it was deployed, MI series military helicopters, self-propelled howitzers, and Grad, grad multiple rocket launcher, Rockets. This week it, had, it said it would send 30 tracked infantry fighting BVP-1 vehicles. Nad, or Ned, the guy with the weasel, who valued the MiGs at about 300 million euros, so that's uh, 299 million dollars, has said Slovakia would seek some financial or material compensation for its donation to support the m modernization of its military. Well, that's uh, compensation. They want compensation for a donation. When you make a donation, what compensation do you want? And that means it's a deal. You know, don't, donate. don't donate anything. You actually, you just, uh, when you donate something, you don't expect anything in, re in return, do you? Nevertheless, this is just a, I, g I get rid of this and you're going to give me those, okay? All right, and you cut me a deal. Give me, give me a discount. Under Saturday, Saturday's deal, with Slovakia's neighbors, the Czech Republic and Poland, hey, what I mean, the Slovakia's neighbors, there are some more over there, like three more, right? Austria, uh, Hungary, and uh, Ukraine. Uh, the Czech Republic and Poland will police its skies from September, while Slovakia awaits deliveries of 14 new US-made F-16 fighters. <laughs> the F-16 deal was signed in 2018 actually and the jets are due for delivery in 2024 okay all right so this is what's going on here that's great Mo modernizing their uh, their army that's um, I guess a good thing give it to the Ukrainians Ukrainians will use them because they're in need they need help and uh, as I said good this is the news about um, Czech Republic. But as I started the video, I said about uh, enemies, obviously uh, Slovakia right now and, and Czech Republic, uh, that talking about Slovakia in particular, they are, um, <clears throat> they could be considered enemies of Russia. So Russia would probably consider them enemies. Now when Slovakia, which gets still gets gas and oil and other stuff from uh, Russia, will ask for more, or when the sanctions kick in, in the, by the European Union, I don't know if they still have the waiver, then we'll go, they will go, all of them will call Putin later, sooner or later, if he, Putin is still alive. And they will ask for, hey, can you give this back? Because actually the 5.4 million people over there is not a big deal. Small country, a medium-sized city, let's put it this way, which is good. I mean, it's not a threat or anything. It's double Lithuania. <laughs> it's like the whole Baltic states together, even more than them. So actually it's not a threat, but... If they have money, good. Spend it with uh, who gives you the best deal. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.